welcome back to my channel. If we haven't met yet, I'm a plant daddy. I'm one of the millions of plant daddies in the world that loves taking care of house plants. This channel is about house plants, home automation for house plant care. And over the past year, I've gotten involved with hydroponics. So I'm really excited to share with you this new journey that I'm on. Before we get into the video, I want to let you know that this video is not sponsored in any way. I'm just sharing my genuine experiences with the products that I purchased. I'm really excited to share with you the second installment of my Grow With Me series. I'm going to share with you a plant update of the growth that has happened since the first video. If you haven't seen the first video, I'll link it in the description box below and you can check it out so you can see how my plants have progressed from week to week as I am growing in the Rise Garden uh, hydroponic system. I'm going to bring the camera closer to the garden and let's go ahead and take a look. On the top row here, I'm growing herbs and uh, as you can see here, I think in one of my previous videos I might have mentioned that I had issues with uh, propagating sage but uh, I'm happy to report now that I was able to get this thing to uh, propagate. Uh, in my previous video, this is not the same pod that I put in here but um, I was able to put a new pod because I propagated this sage just in water only. I got a cutting from the grocery store uh, from when I purchased sage from the grocery store and then I just uh, put it in a pod and then waited several weeks for it to root and uh, I'm excited to share that it's it's rooting now. Uh, in the back uh, I have some cilantro and uh, this cilantro is uh, a newer growth. I had a, I had a cilantro here previously from another plant but that one looked like it was growing kind of funny so I took it out of the system and I replaced it with uh, cilantro that was growing well but uh, cilantro is something I'm gonna make part of my uh, monthly routine to plant every 30 days just so I can have uh, fresh cilantro growing in the system all the time. Uh, I think this is mint. Uh, I, I got a pod and it wasn't labeled and I, I can't remember which seeds I put in it but I think this is mint but this looks like it's is getting some nice growth. Um, if I if I didn't ID the plant properly, let me know, but I think this is mint. Um, in the back, I have a Thai basil propagation that is doing really well. Again, I got this uh, Thai basil from a cutting. I bought some, some basil, some Thai basil from the grocery store. And then I just put this in a pod and it looks like it, it rooted really nice. So this is, uh, this is going pretty well. And then in the back, I'm growing chives. And then up in the front here, I have parsley. Uh, I have another older chives, and this has been in my system since August. Uh, I just kind of tied it to make it more organized here. And then I have another parsley in the back. Um, over here, I have some chamomile. Now it looks like this chamomile was getting a little bit brown. I'm not sure. I'm just making sure I'm picking off the dead, uh, the dead leaves. But it's still growing pretty healthy, I think. But I'm keeping an eye on it because um, there's some uh, brownage on top of the, the leaf there. Um, in the back here, I have uh, peppermint growing. I had to put some cinnamon on the pod because there was some algae that was growing there and I had to cut it out. Um, over here, you know, I actually forgot what this is down here. Um, and then in my seed, in my uh, seed pods over here, I'm growing a variety of things. I, I got some Asian themed greens. So I'm uh, growing some uh, Tokyo onions in the front here. This is a Tokyo onion. Uh, this is pak choy. I have a, a Japanese parsley. This is a Mitsuda and then white mustard and then uh, growing another type of parsley evergreen parsley I don't know if you can see that in focus and then I had some sage growing again and I'm growing this sage from seed I was able to get this seed to germinate so that's doing pretty well on the second level here uh, this is exciting I purchased a bare root plant for Albion strawberries that I planted into the system so I'm Happy to share my strawberry update over the upcoming weeks. Uh, it's been a few days and it looks like the plant came to me and it was dormant. And when I put it into the system, it looks like it is starting to uh, wake up. And as you can see, there's, oh, let me get the camera in focus. 
uh, there's going to be some green uh, growing here and this this area looks like it was uh, starting to wake up but um, the planting instructions for this strawberry was to make sure that this crown does not get wet and uh, I should only cut two inches of the roots when I put the strawberries into a pod and as you can see here there's the there's the strawberry I'm letting it hang into the there's a little bit of root there um, we have growing more pak choy here another white ice mustard uh, we have some uh, Mizuna some Benny who's I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right Hushi Mizuna we have from some Rouge de Hiver. Um, I got this as a free seeds when I ordered some seeds online they gave this to me I think as a free free seeds and then I got some uh, Doc Bloody back here. Now this is pretty cool. This is like a sorrel. Um, I'm not too familiar with this uh, plant species, but I'm excited to try it out. But look at the beautiful color on, on that. It's coming in nice and red and green. And then I'm really happy to uh, report that the pepper is doing very well. It looks like it's starting to grow here. So really excited to have some peppers. Let me see if I can get that in focus there. And uh, as you see the video, let me know and comment below. Let me know what you think of the leaf quality, if I'm doing okay. Now, I think I've mentioned that hydroponics is new to me in the last year, so I've been just learning how to grow. And uh, this is my progress for uh, growing, growing things in this system. I have some kale here that I'm gonna harvest soon. This could get a little bit bigger, but I think I'm going to take this out of, the, out of the system soon. And then I have some pak choy in the back there that seems to be growing. Let's go down to the bottom level here. Things seem to be a little bit hectic here because I have uh, four tomato plants. One is actually embedded in the rice garden system. I'm growing two in recycled containers here, recycled food containers, and uh, I'm just putting nutrient solution in these uh, containers with some uh, clay pebbles, and I'm propagating a tomato plant down here. Let me move this tomato plant out of the way just so that, now as you can see, uh-oh, let me see if I can uh, move this. These, these uh, leaves are tangled. I don't want the jars to drop. As you can see here, these are kind of uh, tangled in here. But look at these roots here. Let me bring you down here to show you what else I'm growing. I'm, in a, I'm growing some rapini. Uh, we have a uh, tatso, uh, choiga beet over here. And then we have another mizuna in the back over here and uh, I'm gonna have to trim some of this uh, tomato plant because it's it's taken over the bottom garden as you can see I installed this uh, net and uh, if you could see how it's anchored to the garden uh, I just velcroed it to the garden here and uh, I this has been getting a lot of flowers lately so I just changed my uh, nutrient to the blossom nutrient so it's it's starting to flower. And then uh, right now what I'm doing, I'm just gonna shake the tomato plant to see if I could uh, pollinate some tomatoes. And uh, this is actually easier for me to shake it than it is to actually use the brush and try to pollinate every single flower. So I'm just gonna give it a little shake and a uh, little shake over here. And hopefully these tomatoes are gonna uh, pollinate. And um, let me take you to the back here to show you the Swiss chard and the celery. So, yep, there's Swiss chard back there and then I'm growing another tango celery. Now this tango celery grows really well in uh, hydroponically in the garden. It takes a while, it took me about three or four months if I remember from my last grow, but it is really, um, it grows really nice. And then over here, I have another strawberry plant down here. And as you can see, the leaves on this one are a little bit more opened up 
uh, than the strawberry plant at the top that I just showed you earlier. Um, but so this is nice. This plant is waking up out of its dormant state. And uh, let's take a look at the roots here to see. Oh, look at those roots down there. Wow. Now these roots are from the tomato plant. As you can see, um, oh, this is a cloned tomato plant that I put here uh, on December 19th. And uh, it's growing quite, quite a bit in the system, as you can see here. But, wow. And then let me show you this other tomato plant. I'm getting nice growth. Uh, there's some, some tomatoes that are growing on this one. And I'm surprised this one's actually growing a nice tomato because this, this is bent over here, but it's still getting nutrients down to this tomato in order for it to grow. So that, that's pretty cool. Well, that wraps up our Grow With Me series for this week. I'd love to learn from you and get any feedback about the quality of the crops that I'm growing. Uh, feel free to comment below if you have any tips or if you noticed anything in the leaf quality that I could do to improve or if there's something I might have not seen. I'd love to learn from you and share your experiences with growing hydroponically because this is new to me, uh, growing hydroponically over the last year. So I'm learning something new every day. I want to improve my skills and I'd love to just uh, learn from you as well and share this experience and so you can get to see the progress of my grow over the weeks uh, until I harvest some of these crops. So if you'd like to follow along and continue with the journey, I invite you to hit like subscribe and smash that notification bell to get notified when I post new videos. Every YouTuber says that. But that's it for me. Thanks for tuning in. See you in the next one.